morning, <clears throat> guten morgen, maginda numaga, bonjour. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning to this winter wonderland. Um, snow, more snow, <clears throat> and um, so I'm gonna be busy later. I have a house to clean today and dogs to walk, so I thought I would squeeze in this video before I start my day. I think it's just before 8 a.m. right now. And, um, I wanted to talk about the good news. What the good news is. Um, and, um, what it really means. You know, what most Christians believe the good news is, um, they're being misled, <clears throat> and um, it's sad because half-truths and partial truths is not all truth. When you have his Holy Spirit, John sixteen thirteen, and lead you into all truth, you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that um, you don't need confirmations from numbers or license plates or <clears throat> what, wherever people are looking for their confirmations from. My own testimony, the beginning of my walk, I was partially misled because um, I hadn't let go of my pride yet, and um, I was too self-assured about my relationship with the Lord, and I ran ahead of Him, essentially, because I was so excited. I was so excited about this, this newfound information about being raptured and being taken out of here. And... Um, I was impulsive and so quick, too quick to to make conclusions versus allowing the Lord to lead the way, allowing the Lord to be Lord in my life. <clears throat> and it was a lesson that I learned, um, all glory to the Lord for, you know, when I pray to be humble, he makes me humble. So, <clears throat> the good news that most people overlook or most people <clears throat> um, just don't talk about is deliverance. That's what the good news is. That, you know... When you come into the truth, you're being delivered from all the lies. Um, when you come into the truth, he delivers you from your blindness, <clears throat> your spiritual blindness. You're no longer um, blind, that you have eyes to see. Um, and um, deliverance... <clears throat> means that you understand that he can heal your mind if you have anything like manic depression, um, any type of mental disorder, schizophrenia, and you understand truth, all truth, that it's a spiritual warfare, Ephesians six twelve, and you have the power to tread on scorpions which means you have the power to take over your own vessel, cast out those demons in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and have him sit in the throne of your temple. A righteous throne. You have the power to cast out the demons where if you have an autoimmune disorder... If you've been diagnosed, most people here that I am that I know of in the US have some sort of autoimmune disorder that 
most physicians will tell you, well, I don't, I don't really know what causes this, but let me get, let me give you all these different medications, which is poison, sorcery, that they just want to keep your frequency low and dull and put heavy metals into your body so you are a stronger antenna for the frequencies that Satan's dousing you with to keep you sick. But the Lord delivers you because he takes you out of that darkness and brings you into the light where you know truth and you take hold of that truth. Jesus Christ is truth. And you stop doing things like taking medication and listening to man. His word is very clear. It tells you in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 22, listen to no man. Because man is in the dark. Man is a liar. Man doesn't understand that this is a spiritual warfare and most people are being misled and they're being deceived and they're in the dark. But Jesus Christ is the light. Jesus Christ is the way. And he gives you truth, but you have to want it with all your heart. You have to want truth and truth only. So the good news is, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he healed people, and he delivered people from death. Lazarus was dead for three or four days, and he rose Lazarus from the dead. Do you think if he can raise someone from the dead that his Holy Spirit today cannot deliver you from whatever's ailing you? But you have to have faith. You have to accept the good news. But most people deny the power of his Holy Spirit. Did you know he can deliver you from any sin? But people deny the power of that. So you're saying that he can raise someone from the dead, but he can't make you stop smoking? or stop fornicating, or stop drinking alcohol. I'm a walking, talking testimony that I was an alcoholic. And cold turkey, when, he, when, when I became born again on December 7, 2018, I completely stopped drinking alcohol. So much so that when I went over my ex-husband's house, when I was seeing our son, he had a glass of wine and I could smell it and it was repulsive to me. That's how wonderful and, and awesome the power of his Holy Spirit. I couldn't even stand the smell of it. I couldn't stop drinking alcohol myself. I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't be Jacob wrestling with antichrist spirits to do it myself, I would have lost. Only his Holy Spirit, which this is a spiritual warfare, Ephesians 6, 12, can overcome the antichrist spirit. You're no longer Jacob wrestling. You are now Israel. So the good news is not someone who has this false idea of what salvation actually means. They're waiting for, I don't know, spiritual bodies <clears throat> to be whisked up in the sky because of the rapture movies or whatever. 
like a twinkling of an eye. Do you know what that means, the twinkling of an eye? That you shall be changed? It means when you actually become born again, and he gives you his Holy Spirit to reside in your temple, like a twinkling of an eye, you, you've changed. I'm no longer chasing after my flesh. I no longer have a carnal mind. I have a mind of Christ and a heart of Christ. And <clears throat> I don't sin willfully anymore. That's the good news. He delivered me from all my physical ailments, my mental ailments, and my emotional ailments. That's the good news. Because I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and I have faith. And for anyone that wants to come up against that testimony and say, not one of us is righteous, you are right. I'm not denying that. I'm not righteous, but his Holy Spirit in me is righteous. His Holy Spirit is righteous and holy. The Holy Spirit that resides in me, and you cannot deny that. I'm not claiming to be righteous and holy, but he that is in me is righteous and holy. That's the good news. Being saved is being saved away from the lies. Your salvation is being free of the lies. Being free of your mental ailments. Being free of your emotional ailments and your physical But you have to have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. And without faith and trying to do it on your own and find a way by reading his word in a carnal fashion and trying to figure things out by all the studying, that's not how it works. You have to humble yourself. You have to submit. You have to stop being Jacob wrestling with the Lord. And ask him to come into your heart. And ask him for truth. And then you have to walk in truth. You have to walk it out. In truth only. That's what walking with the Lord means. Walking in truth only. I love you. I hope I planted a really good seed. Please take it to the Lord. God bless.